just built this giant foldable CNC stand in my small garage. The CNC this stand is for is the Maslow CNC by MakerMade. The unique thing about this CNC is that it's meant to be stored and operated horizontally. This allows people with a small shop like mine the ability to have a CNC that can cut a full 4x8 sheet of plywood without taking up a whole bunch of floor space. I'm going to take my build a bit further and make it fold up and be stored on the ceiling of my garage. The other unique thing about this CNC is that instead of providing the frame, they give you the instructions on how to build the frame out of 2x4s. This keeps the shipping and manufacturing costs down. In this video, I'm going to fly through the frame build because there are multiple videos of that online. The kit also comes with full build plans and they can be found online for free. The stand I built is for the basic Maslow, but the CNC I got was for the M2. So I'm hoping that the stand will work for the M2. I have yet to test that. Uh, so make sure you check out my other videos before you actually build it, but I assume that it'll work perfectly fine. The only difference between the instructions and my frame is that the front leg pieces need to be around 5 inches from the top of the ceiling. So I used full 8 foot pieces for mine. So this was my first location idea for the stand, but after getting it into place, I realized that I would block my lumber storage. And I would have to put down my CNC stand anytime I wanted to pull out a sheet of plywood. So I flipped the stand around the other way and liked it much better. I was worried that I wouldn't have enough room to film the CNC with it in this position. But luckily if I put my camera in widescreen mode, I can see the whole CNC just fine. Unfortunately, there's a lot of things already mounted to the ceiling over here, and I don't want to move them if I don't have to. Alright, I think I've come up with a solution to my problem. So I'm going to put a board between these two studs on either side, then drop a piece down from that stud and attach it to this. I want to be able to put a 2x4 across the top here and across between here and here. And then I will cut right here and put a hinge on the back. So that hinges, so this top part will come forward, then the bottom part will hinge up underneath it. So that is why we're bringing this eight inches in front of this stud that's running along here so that um, that extra eight inches will go back to the stud um, because this bottom part here is eight inches longer than this top part here. So that is the plan. Um, I don't have enough wood, so what I'm gonna do is take off this bottom, I'm gonna replace this bottom brace with a piece of plywood just for a second um, and then put that in the middle here. And then I have one 10 foot two by four over there for this top piece. So I'm probably gonna have to adjust this light some and yeah, we'll see how it goes. So the boards had bowed out quite a bit on the front, so I had to pull them closer together. And to do that, I had to take this front piece off so that I could get them pulled closer together. I had used two and a half inch screws up until this point, but I used a four inch screw on this part 
just to reach the other 2x4 because it was so far away and then I was able to suck it in using that long screw. Next I cut a couple pieces out of 45 so that I would have some additional cross bracing. Next I removed the original cross bracing so that I could do the same thing and put it on the inside of the frame. Time to add a little bit longer chain so that my light would hang just a little bit lower and wouldn't hit the frame. My frame was five inches from the ceiling, so luckily just grabbing a two x four and a scrap four x four block and putting them together gave me the perfect distance for attaching my hinges to the ceiling and into the frame. Getting the right measurements to make sure that the ceiling mount was parallel to the wall was a little bit difficult, but I finally figured it out. I thought I filmed myself attaching the 2x4s to the ceiling, but I didn't. Uh, but it's just two screws on either side like I did on the other side, and now it's attached to the ceiling. I forgot to move the camera to show myself screwing in the center hinge. All right, I don't have any way to secure this into place yet, but I'm gonna test it out for the first time. It's getting caught somewhere up at these hinges, so I'm gonna take these hinges off the back and just focus on getting this to work. It's actually hitting these so I drew a line where it's hitting so I'll cut that off and then hopefully it'll fit it's hitting on the one over there too but not as much but I think after I cut those off it'll work
Time for the moment of truth. Will the van still fit? I'm very happy that it fit and I didn't have to redo anything. All right, that's it for this video. I got the stand done. In the next video, I'll be adding the CNC to this and doing my first cuts. Um, make sure you stick around and watch that. It'll be out a week from this video or if, uh, it might be out already if you're watching this a week after I publish this video. So make sure you check it out and watch the rest of the build videos in my garage and stay tuned for some really awesome builds that I'm going to do with this CNC.